Hello, welcome to MapLibre tutorial number six. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export the 3D maps as uh, HTML files so that you can use it for uh, website hosting so they can share the maps uh, with other people and they don't need to know coding. They just go to your uh, website, then they can um, visualize uh, the 3D maps that you are uh, created. And in particular, you need to be very careful about the API key. So in the last couple of videos, I already show you uh, how to create the API key in the first video and then how to create some of these very nice looking uh, 3D maps. And I haven't shown you how to actually export the HTML yet. You can visualize locally, but if you're trying to serve other people, then you have to be careful about the API key. This is what this tutorial we're going to show you is to make sure that it's safe and then your API key is not exposed. And so um, to do that, I'm going to show you the examples. Uh, if you go to the overview uh, page and uh, scroll to the bottom here to HTML. So this is the noble example that I'm going to use uh, to showcase how to create the maps. And then uh, here you can open this one Google Collab or you can download it to run on your local computer. And I'm going to show you here, I already open in uh, Google um, Jupyter Lab. And so in order to, uh, if you just um, trying to use this locally, then you don't need two keys. But if you are trying to publish, then you have, uh, I recommend that you have two API keys. Again, if this is new to you, you can go to the map title or watch the first uh, tutorial to how to create the API key, uh, sign up on an account. And so let me uh, head over to the uh, map title here, uh, go to the website, you should be able to log in. And then on my cloud here, uh, go to the website. So this is where you can see uh, all the base maps. And on the left side, there's an API key section. So this is where you're going to create the API key. The API key can be replaced. So right now you can see my API key. Uh, I'm going to uh, replace it after the video. And what I'm going to show you here is to create two API keys, one for the private use on your local computer and the other one for the public use. Uh, so that your API key, your local private API key is not exposed uh, on the internet. So what we're going to do here is create a new key here. And this one, I can just say private. Uh, key and you don't want to have any restrictions uh, because you want to use it locally so you don't really need to have any restriction and then just uh, create okay so this is first key the second one that we want to create you need to have some restrictions allow the HPP um, origins so I'm going to say public the description doesn't matter so I'm going to say public key and this is where you need to make sure that where the website, where the, the maps are going to be hosted, right? So you, you need to have a domain or you have uh, whatever uh, URL website that you have control. Then you're going to put the HTML under that domain. So you need to put this one here so that other people cannot use it. Just like here, if you go to the uh, map library uh, web page in here, and if you click this one to see all the demos, and so all these demos, uh, it works fine here. If you just click to visualize that uh, through my website, but if you try to download this HTML and then you're trying to download it and then trying to run it on a local computer, uh, it doesn't work because the API key only can only be rendered. Uh, so for example, I can show you here, save the link, and then I can save this one to my downloads directory uh, in here. Then if you try to open it, um, double click, you see it doesn't render, it's just a blank map because it's going to detect the URL. So if it doesn't come from the one that I specified, then it's not going to work. This is why it's important to have a restriction for your API key. And what we're doing here is you figure out whatever domain name that you have, either github.io or whatever custom URL that you have. And then you can come to the API key here. So for in this case, I'm just going to write maps.gshub.org uh, because this is the website that I control. So I know the API key can only be used here. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can steal my API key, but it's not going to work. Um, so let's create. And then, so once I have these two key here, one for the private, the private one is what we're going to test on my, our local computer. The public one is going to be the one that's going to be um, spare once you um, put it on the internet. So next, let's go back to the notebook in here, and then we're going to show you step by step. So uh, run this one, and from here, uh, you can uncommon these two to set the environment variable here, or you can set this one as environment variable on a local computer. And what we can do here is to come to this one, the private key. So C, and then you can replace your private key here. Similarly, we're going to use the public key. 
So this is the one you want to share the HTML on the internet. And once you have this tool, uh, execute it, then uh, it should be good. So if you want to confirm that, you can probably just um, write this one. It should print out the key because we just said that. And once we have that, now we can start creating maps. So for example, this is the 3D terrain map that we created in the previous video, right? Pretty nice. And you can rotate, you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, turn the layer on and off. So we have all these nice things. And once you finish the map, then we need to export it. So keep in mind, you need to export the map before you display it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So this is why I comment out this line here. Uh, once the map is displayed, for now, uh, the Python uh, map library package doesn't save it, so it's only one time only. And you need to make sure you uncomment this one so that you can save the HTML, uh, HTML. So my recommendation would be you customize the map, you add whatever data layer, add controls, whatever you want, and then you see it. And once you are satisfied with this one, then you um, you can either change the map to dot HTML. You can write it from here, and then at uh, uh, parentheses, skip tag on your keyboard. And then you can see all the parameters available in here that you can customize. For example, output, uh, basically the output HTML. If you don't specify, it's going to return as an HTML string. Uh, the title is what's going to show up in here. I also map right the 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 tab title uh, in here, and the width and height by default it's going to be one hundred percent and replace key. So this is the one earlier why we want to set replace the key. So basically when we are running that locally when you create the HTML, it's going to automatically replace the key. If you don't replace it, for example, if you, your API key is this public one, then it won't work, you won't be able to see the map. So the reason is that we use the API key to render the map locally, but when we export it as an HTML, we're going to replace the private key, the public key. So this way, uh, the map can be just dragged onto the website and then it will just works. So let me. Um, again, this is the parameter that you need to be careful. If you want to preview the map locally, then you don't want to paste the key. Um, also, if you want to preview it or not. Okay, so uh, let me show you. Uh, let me remove this one. So now we know it's working. So I'm going to uh, export this one as HTML. And you can set the title, for example, terrain map or whatever. By default, it's going to be width and height of 100%, unless you want the height to specify something. Replace key. Uh, let's try not replace it yet. And um, so in this way, we're going to still we're going to preview the HTML before we put it on the website. And you can also set the preview equal to two. Then it's going to export the HTML and then it's going to open um, in your browser. So let's run this one again. See now it's opening up. So now this map is actually coming from my um, local computer here, and it's. Um, the, the, the file the file pass and again this is just an html file that can be hosted um, right now it's on a local computer but later we can host it somewhere else again you can zoom in you can zoom out uh, like what i show you in the previous video it's pretty cool it's 3d and as you can see it's only a couple lines of code and um thanks to the four lines of code um then we get the um the map and so this is the one that you want to make sure everything works fine then you can um that replacing the uh, uh api key so what we're going to do here is to turn the, this one to um two um before i do that i'm going to show you in here let me open the um the the, the file so it's under here docs and then map libre so you see this is the one that we just exported and if you open it um using uh just a text editor you scroll down to the bottom you notice here the API key is being used in a couple places um, because it's 3D map, so it has uh, different uh, layers. This is the actually this one is our private API key. This one, and it, once you use the replace key, we run it again. So take a look. So now it's going to preview. Open this one. It's playing underscore one. You will see right now this empty. Reason for that is replace the API key. So now it will not work on a local computer. So this is the one in here, and again, if you open it, scroll down to the bottom. So now this is the public API key. It won't work locally, but if you put this file under whatever domain that you have, 
and in which it will work just fine. So it will be similar to what this one showing here, the API key, because uh, I set the restriction. So this is basically how, uh, if you want to export the map, make sure that you don't use your private key because otherwise you'll be exposed. People can steal your API key, so this uh, not good. And again, you can follow the example and you just export it. So another example, uh, this one is for the 3D buildings, uh, pretty much similar. So you can add, um, create it and then add the base map, for example, HD base map and the 3D buildings uh, on top of the map Libre uh, base map. And so once you look like everything looks good, you set the center and also the zoom label. Then if you want to export it, uh, again, before export it, before you, um, um, display the map so the buildings and then the title the width and height and also replace key or not uh, by default it's going to be true so you're going to replace the api key your public api key and um let me say it to force uh force and um also we can preview it so i can just set preview equal to two and then just run it it should open this one up and Take a look. So now we have this one uh, working on our local browser. And um, as you can see, by default, it's 100% uh, width and height. So if you are working on a specific application that you just you don't want the height 100%, then you can specify, for example, I would say uh, 800 pixels, right? And run again, open it up. So now you see the map is not 100%, uh, percent, uh, the height is not 100%. So you can specify a pixel. Uh, if this is something uh, you want, so you can easily customize it. Once you are satisfied uh, with the layout, then again, one last step is to turn this one to replace the API key to true, and then just run it. Open right now, for example, building number three. So each time it's not overwrite uh, the file. So if you detect uh, that one available on computer, it's going to add the number. So you can just uh, change the file name later. But this is the one that you want to put on the internet, put on the website hosting space. So that is using your public API key. So um, that way your private API key is not exposed. So other people cannot. So this is what you need to know um, before you're trying to publish something. So it can be, the map can be 3D, it can be 2D, it can be anything. So again, you can just use map, um, leaf map to create any maps at any data layer and then just show it um, before you export it. And once you are satisfied, then you just to HTML, specify the file name and the settings, and make sure that you replace the API key. By default, if it detects the environment variable, uh, map uh, Tyler key public, then it's going to replace automatically. So you don't have to actually specify this one. So this is what I recommend, is to set these two environment variables, and then you don't need to worry about it in the so you don't even need you can you don't need to uncommon this too if it detect the environment variable uh, locally okay so that's what i want to uh, show you in this uh, video i hope you like it i will see you in the next video take care bye bye